What's up, world? It's your boy Iconic. Back again with another video. You already know, man, it's day 23, and I have to keep bringing the own feats for this 30 day sneaker challenge, man. Before we get started with this video, man, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also hit that notification bell so you can stay in tune with the 30 day sneaker challenge. More of the sneaker reviews that's coming, and soon when this thing open back up, man, some vlogs if possibly. Boom, we have it here. The Nike Air More Up Tempo in the Olympic colorway. Definitely an amazing shoe. Once again, just one of those OG style 90s sneakers that just, just very reminiscent of the 90s, very chunky, very clunky shoes. As uh, Mike Rich would say, these definitely are ant bed stumpers. But it's definitely a dope shoe, man, that you can't go wrong with it when you're trying to get that feel or reminisce of those time frames. Um, for me personally, this is one of my top favorite, like non-Nike runners or Jordan sneakers uh, that I love the most. Like definitely top 10, a black pair and this pair. Um, definitely a dope shoe. They both came out, this came out in 2020. This pair and the black pair came out last year and it was definitely a must have for me. Um, I definitely grabbed them, bro. You already know. Uh, quick review for the people that have never seen this shoe. The shoe has been worn before, but you know it's the 30 day sneaker challenge, so I had to bring it out. Bottom, bottom is dirty, bro. I told y'all, bro, I be wearing my sneakers, and this is one of those shoes that I love to death. I definitely still need to clean up the bottom a little bit, um, but the bottom is definitely white and blue. As you can see, uh, you got that big red swoosh right there. Um, back in this area right here, it is red. A red swoosh back there. You have your air right here in white, and then you got this gold like little plate right there. Um, work your way up to the midsole. Midsole is basically like just white and blue. Um, it's not really fully white, it's not really fully blue, but it's basically like white and blue hits all the way around it. Um, midsole does have a gold air unit. Don't know if y'all can see that pretty slick. It is a gold air unit all throughout the sneaker, which I really love. Definitely a dope touch to it. When you work your way up to the upper, it's still a bunch of leather everywhere and a little hit to like Nubuck in between. Um, as you can see, which I always thought was super dope about this specific pair is that with the air, as you can see, it's like these white hits right there. So it makes it stretch a little bit more. Um, it makes it just kind of even bolder in my eyes when this pair is out. Um, again, this was the pair that um, I believe Scottie Pippen wore these in the 1996. Don't quote me, I might be wrong, but 1996 um, Olympics, Olympic Games, um, don't quote me on that. But toe box, leather, you got this blue swoosh stitched on the toe box, really nice. Again, something that's always just makes this shoe very unique, it's just that big air on the side, man. Again, for me, when I talk about this shoe with the black one, very innovative, bro. Nobody was doing this. No, nobody was making something so bold and getting away with it except Nike. So that's why I feel like Nike continues to reign because they're they're not afraid to take risks and do something that stands out, do something that's unpopular to the masses and also set a trend. And I think like with this, the reason it the reason it has aged so well is because they did this so far back that to now people can get into it even more. Cause like, man, it's a very bold shoe, very bold sneaker. Um, as far as the tongue, tongue just nylon. Well, not really nylon. It's made out of some material. Um, it does have that bungee lacing system right here. And um, you got your blue, uh, thin laces right there. Tongue right here does have uh, a swoosh right here in red. And then this white like little, white little patch right there. Guts are blue. And then on the back back here, you do have a uh, blue, navy blue jewel swoosh. At the top you have a number eight because that's what Scottie Pippen wore in the Olympics. And then at the bottom right there, you do have that gold air unit. But yeah, man, um, just had to give y'all that quick review. Before I let y'all go, before I end the video, man, I want to give y'all this on feet. Let y'all see how special these joints look on feet. I never did an on feet of these, but I did do the black ones. So, so let's get into that so we can close out the video. Let's go. Yeah. 
five fingers, I've been doing me for all of my ages. Picture coke on catalog pages, picture coke for Joe's and the babies. Hit the dope, the coast keys is endless. Local music is a family business. I've been not this motherfucker wishing, I've been not this motherfucker getting. Lil' homie came up out them trenches, big homie riding on them inches. Keep them bitches out your business. Get the hot on the pinch. And boom, just like that, that was the review of the Air More Up Tempo. A uh, very dope shoe, very dope sneaker. If you're into like that old retro style or retro esque uh, feel when it comes to your sneakers, that big bulky look, that bold look, um, this is the way to go, man. Definitely a shoe that I recommend. I have just the OG colorways. Some other stuff um, that I would like to have in my collection like this would be the Supreme Up Tempos. I just really want that gold pair. Other pairs I'm not really a big fan of, but it's definitely a shoe that, hey, it's like, definitely one of them things I feel like you have to have in your collection. If you're into like retro style sneakers, like I said, the Pippins, the Griffies, the Barclays, the Nomos, the, uh, what other shoes? This is just a bunch of shoes that I feel like have to be in the collection if that makes any sense, bro. When you're dealing with like OG sneakers. So OG basketball shoes, this is definitely one of them. Definitely glad to have in my collection. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about the shoes. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about the video and our own feed. Thank y'all for watching, man. Thank y'all for supporting me, man. Seven days left of the 30 day sneaker challenge, man. Y'all stay tuned. We're about to start cooking up this week. Again, thank y'all for watching, man. Before y'all go, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also that notification bell so you can stay in tune with the own feet. The 30 day sneaker challenge is almost to an end. I might go to the 31st day of January. Still thinking on it, but Definitely, y'all. Y'all stay tuned. Thank y'all for watching. Before y'all go, you know how it goes down over at my channel. The future belongs to those who prepare today. Till tomorrow, y'all. Peace.